la 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 la, what a good Swedish day. Mango, no, you can't play around with the M4 carbine, you silly bean. Oh my god, that's for, <laughs> that's for adults only. God. <laughs> Oh no, what an embarrassing moment for you to walk in on. Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses. Welcome to the click of my god. <sighs> you just smell so good. Anyway, today we're gonna look at r slash trashy, which is essentially a subreddit that makes you go kind of like this. <sighs> at every single meme or post. So I do hope you're here to descend into madness together. Enjoy. Mwah. And if you want to be not trashy, you sub subscribe to click. My channel is totally not trashy, and it's very intellectual. <laughs> no, but do it, ple please. <laughs> Your dasher, Stephanie. Can you cancel the order, please? It's too far from me. Uh, why take the order then? It was a mistake. I'm in my bed right now. After eating my food? Nice. Go buy your own food next time before inconveniencing working people. How is this person not fired? <laughs> they take DoorDash orders just to go there, pick it up, and steal food? My god, this... what a turn. Mother of five became Britain's youngest grandmother aged just 30 when her 14-year-old gave birth. Wait a second, wait, so this... This is like two generations in a row. Oh no! Oh my god! I'm about a great grandma a 44 There we go, nailed it. Booyah! Don't at me, my accents are... Questionable. Just like you are. Oh! My god, I'm just so smooth today. Oh my god. I must have used some kind of really nice body scrub because of the smoothness. Here is a just normal police car. Booty patrol. <gasps> booty patrol? What does it actually do? Does it like insist to inspect your booty? Does it simply put booties behind bars? We will never know for sure. Wait till they find out the homeless can read. Please don't give money to homeless. They're like animals. They keep coming back. Oh my god. Are you serious? Jesus Christ! To be perfectly fair, we can equate, like, most of our behaviors to animals. Like, oh, humans like mating most of the time, they're just like animals. What? Humans enjoy food and essential life stuff? Uh, just uh, animals! Dear God. This is a giant that lives in a can of dip. Oh, look at that, I'll grant you your wish. But only, only if you're white. <laughs> I don't like this genie. Mum. Only get a tattoo if it really means something to you. Me. Whip it, lady. Look at that. My God, wouldn't you just whip it for the... For the whip it, lady. You're gonna have this on your skin for the rest of your life. You you know that, right? I mean, you, it's kind of colorful. You could paint over this and turn it into like a, like a carpet. <laughs> Oh, no, bro. I'm just really into carpets. Naughty Hob. Uh, trending searches. Ukrainian. Ukrainian girl. It feels like whenever something is happening in the world, the, the trends about the debauchery in humanity just goes bananas. It was the same thing when COVID first hit. Like, the trending stuff was just like, Oh my god, I'm sick. I might infect you. Oh no, baby, let's do it with face masks. Oh, responsible adults. Protection both upstairs and downstairs. Hashtag, yes. So here's a really nice cozy living room. You have the screens, you have a messy liquor shelf, and look at that. Who needs to replace a couch where you can turn them into two? You have a broken chair and a broken couch. Just, just They complete each other just like we do, baby. <laughs> and then we look like this. Hannah, 18, occupation, straight woman, Instagram, tattoos, music, Netflix, dog lover. Yeah, I'm gonna get straight to it, see, because she's a straight woman. <coughs> I don't like skinny boys. Keep your stick self elsewhere, and I am attracted to white boy. So you can go find you a preppy white girl. If you got tattoos, head them. Uh -huh. If you bum, good to free my face. Mm, get a job. I probably won't respond unless ooh some pressure. Oh, and I like dreads and twists and all that. I don't like bald headed my fists. <laughs> I am, I am a very likable person. One thing I always find so fascinating and glorious with Tinder is the amount of people that write something incredibly aggressive or really weird in their bio. It's like, you realize that you're supposed to do a good impression of someone who might want to date you. Even if you say something like, 
I don't want no people of this particular race matching with me. It's like, okay, well, you're going to chase all of them away. And, you know, the, the sane people of, of the, the particular race you want to date, they're just going to think, oh, you're a raging racist. I don't want nothing to do with you. You're like, you're, you're not helping yourself in any way. This is so wild. Or maybe you're just trying to root out the people who have the same very empowered and, like, straight to the point opinions like I do. <laughs> Elderly man watching slash browsing the adult naughties in public transport at broad daylight. I see it's a man of culture. <laughs> Feels like the kind of dude is just, you know, back in my day, we, we didn't have this. You had to buy papers or carve it out of wooden boards. So now I'm going to make the most of it. Saw so you guys don't like tattoos. These are on my left forearm. So the the first one we have to censor really bad. It's it, it's a it's a big intimate organ with a surprising amount of detail, and the second one is a cow and a chicken making out. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> oh, baby, you're such a cow. Oh, duck you. See? They even have the relationship um, insulting puns ready to go. So here we got a real Sigma Chad. Free vaccine. What? What is that going to make you immune from? Really? Got good taste? I'm good today. And one thing that just like struck me is that the vaccine is also free. What do you? <laughs> this is not even a selling point. <laughs> this is like when they try to use 3D as a selling point for modern video games. Did you know that the new Call of Duty is 3D? My neighbor across the street. It is facing my house and my 10 year old can read it. But not only that, it is literally right next in front of an elementary school entrance slash exit. Gas, a lot of money. Frick you. Uh, Joe? Oh, this is good. The kids better know that I'm Angie. So here is someone with a nice little shirt with Simpson characters and Family Guy, and they're very... They have a lot of feminine, curvy features um, for the world to enjoy. Editor, please, for the love of God, censor this. Thank you. <laughs> I changed the locks, Gary. Take the bed to Laura's house. Salute! I am divorcing you. I told the kids what you did in our bed, and they don't love daddy anymore. Talk about literally airing your dirty laundry. This is literally a dirty mattress on the side of the road. Dear God. Like, okay, if he cheated, he's a complete scumbag, but oh my God, there, there is like a right way and a wrong way to go about it. And this is just, you're going to live in this neighborhood after this point. You know that, right? This is not... <sighs> I'ma let y'all know right now, ain't no dude getting a damn steak and BJ without filling up my muff gas tank first. What gas station do I need to meet you at? At the shell right here of rape. Oh my god. I'll be parked by Pump Free. I'm any premium unleaded if you expect me to 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 finalize the transactions of bodily liquids. That's a good way of saying this. <laughs> this is a PG Christian Minecraft channel, and I'm gonna get biblical ads because I said Jesus. <laughs> 2022 is really, uh, it's a weird year, man. It's a weird year, and we've been through a few of them now, and I I I'm not sure when it's gonna stop. It's good content, though. Her three kids and all her teachers follow her, post this kind of stuff. Okay. Yes! No! Don't do this. Make sure your pooper aligns with the toilet. Oh, what kind of pressure do you have to have for this to actually happen? This is amazing and terrifying. Megan Swenty, whammon. I'll make your whole week and you'll make my whole week. <laughs> I shoplift from Yardale so I do not shave my armpits. No need to pull out. I'm involved in an MMA fight ring and no fetus can reside within my womb. I am banned from all federal buildings, Walmart, etc. I have an outstanding warrant in Ohio, Minnesota, and California. Legalize recreational meth? <laughs> Man, she, she sounds like uh, someone who's gonna make your life all stable and mundane and just, you know, typical 9 to 5 suburban life with a house and a dog and, you know, everything is just predictable and it's... Yeah. Susan, 19. I identify as black. That bish could steal your n-word. Heart emoji. Mm. Mango, get the M4. America, reading is for f-words. Did you just misspell reading and also turn the r around? My god, you spelled the slur right, but that's... <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good thing to give credit for. I mean, this misspelled... But you got the slur right, so, you know, it's it's just a little bit of 
Uh, wow! Just walking with the little kiddo. I eat butt. Very nice family time. Attention, your gas guzzler kills. We have deflated one or more of your tires. You'll be angry, but don't take it personally. It's not you, it's your car. We did this because driving around urban areas in your massive vehicle has huge consequences for others. Our companies try to convince us we need massive cars. But SUVs and 4x4s are a disaster for our climate. SUVs are the second largest cause of the global rise in carbon dioxide emissions over the past decade, more than the entire aviation industry. The world is facing a climate emergency, according to the UN. Millions of people are already dying from climate change-related causes. Drought, hurricanes, floods, forced migration, starvation. So far, the impact on you has probably been minimal. We need emergency action to reduce emissions immediately. We're taking actions into our own hands because our government and politicians will not. Even if you do not care about the impacts people far away from you, there is also consequences for your neighbors. SUV costs more air pollution than smaller cars. SUVs are more likely to kill people than normal cars. Psychological studies show SUV drivers are more likely to take risks on the road. SUVs are unnecessary. I mean, okay, sure. Um, environmental stuff? Good. Harassing ye everyday normal 9 to 5 person? Probably not so much. <laughs> you know they still have to get to work, right? They're just gonna have to buy new tires, which of course costs more money and emissions to do, and then they're probably gonna drive to work anyway. <laughs> this is not the way to go about it. Uber Eats! Oh my god, are they taking a dump in a public bathroom? Someone somewhere is waiting for this order. It just adds a bit of aroma. Hey guys, I'm sorry for what's happening in the world. Pray yourself for Ukraine. Peace. Uh, you don't have to like this post, but I do want to say that I believe in the power of prayer. <laughs> this fit just happens to be the same color as the flag. I felt like I needed to say that I'm in support of the people. Oh, please keep the people of Ukraine in your mind and your hearts. While you look at my scantily clad pictures. Mm, yes. You know, uh, prayers and all that stuff, but please pay attention to me. That's the most important part. Mm. I cannot live weed out you. <laughs> okay, okay. Five points for the pun. Half a point for the fact that it looks like a school desk. Cheat on your girlfriend, not your workout. Rebook and Sport of Fitness has arrived. Wait, what? Cheat on your girlfriend, not your work. What are you promoting? Oh my god. <laughs> Stickers, look at this. It's Ben 10 and all that kind of stuff. Wait, wait a second. What is that sticker on the top? Why are they prego? Um, why aren't these children? Well, I am so uncomfortable. P pouring sand down my pants would be less uncomfortable than this. The big family behind us at the food court when they left. Ah, oh, look at that. They really cleaned out after themselves. Mm. Well, they cleaned out the containers, not not much else. This six feet mark to make sure no boy under six feet walks in. Aha, <laughs> girl! Yeah! But of course, I'm gonna be really freaking upset if anyone makes anything similar about the whammons. But oh my god, boys. I better get good. Oh, this is like r slash Tinder in a nutshell. How, how tall are you? How, how much do you weigh? Oh, I can't believe you. Oh, that's 50% of the, po uh, the post right there. Man, that's absolutely beautiful. Skull seatbelt silencers. Uh, three per item in stock. So you put it in your seatbelt so the car stops beeping. Is it just me that finds this a bit ironic that it's the shape of a skull? <laughs> that just feels a little bit on the nose, doesn't it? The face of someone when the whole world finds out you shite in the bed of Johnny Depp? Hashtag me poo. <laughs> <laughs> well, that shite was really made public. Oh! You gotta send stuff like this to your ex and be like, darn, didn't mean to send that to you. Imagine being in a whole new relationship and still giving a frick about your ex, Lamau. Why would you do this? And why would the new partner be okay with it? It's so weird. Like, yeah, yeah, you're only together with me to get makeout pictures to send to your ex? Sure, I'll invest in this relationships. Sounds like a blast. <laughs> I just had to watch the guy who works at the gym mop my pee off the floor. Hashtag, it's just a prank, bro. My god. You know, there is a distinct line between haha <laughs> funny pranks that are like nice and harmless and funny and just oh look at me being a complete disaster to society and everyone else has to clean up for me. I am a good person. I notified my upstairs neighbor that his VC pipe is leaking and that he should get it fixed before using his VC. He didn't care and used his VC for the entire day when I was away. Yes, that is a poo poo and the entire room smells like it. Oh my god. Then you just mop it up and give it back like through the mailbox. <laughs> You just reroute the pipe. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> My friend's ex got this today. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's a diver. And those are panties. Oh my, those are not waves. I don't think those are supposed to be waves. Those are not waves. It's not waves. 
If it's wobbling, the wife's gobbling. Yeah, I'ma put this on my car for the Katie's to say. Ah, smoking while prego, not done celebrating. Wow, this is very classy motherhood. And I bet all the comments are gonna be like, Yes, queen, you do you. Oh my god, such a strong woman for endangering your unborn <laughs> child with unnecessarily <laughs> for an Instagram post. A teacher at my school forgot to turn off their Bluetooth. Twerk nation. Heck yeah. Man, this is the class we all showed up for. What are you? Did you go to uni for, Timmy? Well, I got my PhD in twerk. Damn, boy. Andrea, 23. <laughs> Married, but kind of bored of my marriage. Looking for something fun? Soon to be a mother. Hope you don't mind. If you know me IRL, you don't. If you know my husband, don't tell him. Teehee, I'm just being quirky. You know, I'm already bored of my marriage. We're like... I know six months in because we haven't even had our first child yet or whatever, but I'm bored of it and I still decide to, to you know, have babies with this man, but I'm gonna cheat before before the baby's even born. Man, you know, your, your own relationship concerns or, you know, ideas about the future don't seem all that bad. <laughs> Tactical tent. Don't get caught clapping shakes. Tint your windows, you naughty freaks. Tactical tint are keeps your leg up on the complexion. Call or text. Before, we have to censor this, I think, and after, you can't see them clapping the cheeks in the car. Buy anti-clap cheek windows today. Heavenly donuts. You don't need teeth to eat our meat. Oh, because it's so tender? Or do you like meat smoothies? Yum. White pride worldwide. Uh, why are you doing this on Tinder? Why are you doing this at all? Sorry, I'm in Subway. This is not Tina. No, I was wondering if I could pick up a hundred worth of Tina meaning meaning meth. No, most definitely wrong person. Have a good weekend. <laughs> it's not like, you know, the cops wouldn't know what the code word means anyway. It's just... Oh my god. If you're gonna do something like this, I mean... Jesus, at least make sure you have the right number. Holy shite. Posted in my local buy nothing group. Is this your wife? Cause here she is at my house after night with a guy I've been with for 16 years. Keep her out of my house. Notice how she is wearing her wedding ring has no decency at all. Free to a good home. SFPF. The place to do it. A local buy group. Everyone will know my marriage is falling apart. God, you should be equally mad, more mad at your husband, Jesus Christ. I also watched the 11 years hair tonight, we're doing the curly girl lifestyle. The amount of emotional labor I performed in the past two hours, holy frick. How do I tell the 18 year old that's using me as a therapist and a crisis counselor isn't healthy for either of us? He has no consistent supportive adult voice in his life except ours. But I'm conscious of the family labor paradigm, it's reinforcing that I'm the parent confident. Oh, so you know the children you adopted? is using as a therapist and a crisis counselor, aka going to you because you're their parent. <laughs> and that's emotional, like, can you imagine someone holding emotional labor over the head of their kids? And if you think it's getting so serious that, you know, you can't help your child with it or if they're going through it, get them professional help. Why are you venting about this on social media and making a point of a, ah, oh, don't my kids and lost teenagers realize that I am doing emotional labor? Ah. Oh. Outrageous. Don't do wifey shite for a frick boy. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Make your statement in the local Walmart or whatever. Buy and sell. Has anyone seen Blorp? Been missing since payday Friday. Phone is off and has not turned out to see his kids again after promising to take a cinema date Saturday. Hasn't seen them in over a week and we're off holiday tomorrow. They would like to see their dad before we go instead of being sent to voicemail. Likely to be found spending their child maintenance money on getting druggy, uh, naughty workers drunk for an easy lay. He knows my number. If anyone is with him, get him to contact me. Thanks, hun. Missing mongrel. Dear God. And this is a local buy and sell group. There is a time and a place, and this is neither. For some reason, people say there was a shooting here. A fake shooting was called in to make the medics arrive faster. Well, if it's super serious, but this is really weird. I don't know much about the system there, if they take it more seriously, if that's what's going on, but... What? So here is stuff I can't read, and look at that, they're just doing casual little... little, little signatures. Okay, I, I'm not normally about insulting people about appearance, right? We should all be respectful towards each other. We should not bully people for no exception. But I think Nazis are an exception. Why is it always the people who look like they collected their genes from freaking Walmart leftover bins that are the ones to preach the supremacy bullshit? Why is that always the case? It blows my mind. A dating user. Yes, I live alone. Me, my dogs and cats. I live with my kids. What do you do now? I'm working. 
Can you hook up? For, for money or for free? Do you care for the naughties? I do. Can we meet today? How much? If you come, you can get my kids a steam card. I can load it for them and we can keep them busy while we are having the naughties in my room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll distract my kids, give them a gift suit, so they can play Minecraft or whatever while we, while we get it on. You don't have to bring a big gift card, you know. We're only gonna be at it for a couple of minutes, it's fine. You can buy them one of those mini-games, it's okay. Or one of those furry dating simulators, that's also fine. Marijuana! Dear parents, reminder! Please be advised that the staff has smelled some you out, question mark? That's not a question? What you do on your leisure is none of our concern. However, when your habits follow you into our facility, then it becomes a problem. And please, before you drop or pick your child up, to do a smell check. If you come into our facility and you smell like marijuana or any other illegal substance, we have the right to hold your child and call the police. We apologize for being so blunt. Oh my god, that's so bad. Jesus. I mean, it's the same thing as if a parent would come in, like, really wasted. I'm just gonna bring up a guy with Timmy. I, as a, a kindergarten teacher, would also be quite concerned. Asian Doll. That's her, like, username, I guess. Said she only dates killers, and you need at least three murder bodies to date her. Yay. Well, that's, that's a recipe for a good stable relationship right there. I swear, I can fix him. And then there were four bodies. Woo, nobody saw that coming. Breaking 911. Photo, police in Mariana, Arizona arrest woman for DUI while she was attempting to drive to her wedding. Wait, see, I had like a, I don't know, a champagne breakfast before the wedding. Why didn't you just call the cab? <laughs> This is so easy to avoid. Or just, you know, have a designated driver who's a friend. What? This is so wild. Were they driving alone? Were they just getting drunk alone before the wedding? That sounds really sad. Oh my god, maybe they were like hyper nervous about the wedding. And was like drinking, trying to forget it. But then they hopped into the car without thinking, which is really horrible. Just take a cab, for God's sake. Easter egg stolen. My husband hid two dozen Easter eggs in our yard for our four-year-old son on Easter Sunday. 30 minutes later, we come home to hunt and all the eggs were gone. Uh, today, my neighbor came to let me know she saw a woman in a white station wagon or SUV let her kids out and run up and take all the eggs they could find. I am shocked. Obviously, it's not like they stole much money being only some candy and plastic eggs, but my son is four and couldn't understand why the Easter bunny had skipped him. Did anybody else experience this? Would never have thought you would need to guard toy eggs in your own front yard. A side note, huge thank you to my neighbor and her grandkids for hiding some of their own eggs in her yard so my son could still have a special moment. Aww. This gesture was so kind and far out ways and the disappointment we felt before. That is so sweet, but my god. What do you, and I mean, you're driving a big expensive car. I doubt that it's like, oh, I can't afford five dollars for plastic eggs for my own kids. Let me like send them out like some bloodhound gremlins into like a random person's yard to like steal candy. <laughs> what? Do it again next year with poop eggs. See this on r slash pro revenge next year. <gasps> oh my god, yes. Tune into the channel in the year when we get the part two of this beautiful story. It's gonna be the shite. Get it because of the poop eggs? I'm good at my job. So here's a little Korkitetsu. We have a Squirtle and we have an Onyx and they look like alternative objects. Why is Onyx looking in two directions at once? He is very worried, I think, about what's coming next. Squirtle, use vibrate. Onyx, use... Got my DR makeup, ready for anything that comes at me. Did you misspell that, or is it on purpose? DR makeup, this lasted for two hours of naughties. Oh, so it wasn't misspelled. My mans did the, the thing all over me, and it was still on. Yes, the ore. Five stars. Well, it's time for a little bit of cleansing. Attention to the person clogging our toilets with their super-sized poops. While you may be impressed with your toilet clogging prowess, please realize that you are preventing others from being able to use the facilities until a staff member arrives. By the way, our staff is human. They are spending 15 minutes per day on clogging your mess. Respect your fellow humans and our staff. Thank you. Guide to pooping. Poop, flush, poop, flush, etc. Don't do poop, 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 flush. You see that, fellow super poopers? <laughs> That, can, that sounds like a really bad band name. Is that a thing? Does that exist? Super pooper. Da, 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 da. Okay, well, that's a song. Love myself some ABBA. Thinking about the time my friend ripped up her boyfriend's birth certificate during an argument and said, Shut the frick up, you don't even exist. Mm hmm. I am not a toxic girl at all. And that's that's not how it works at all. But this this on a show, I'm going to rip up some really important legal documents. That's good to do in a, in a relationship argument. Spoiled rotten. Yes. So let's see, what do we have here? It's like a trailer. Taco Bell. 
the forbidden Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm not so sure I would I would take, you know, my my future kids to this Taco Bell. No offense to the manager, but like no. Please do not lick your fingers before touching money to pay cashier. Thank you. I'm so glad that like all transactions are card nowadays. I haven't paid in cash in I don't know how freaking long. It's absolutely gorgeous. Can you imagine how gross that shot is? Yeah, I didn't wash my hand after going to the bathroom. Here, please take my money, good sir. It's very good. Legalized mother slash son marriage. Why is this a shirt you're wearing? Maybe he lost a bet. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, okay, he lost a bet. That's the only way I cannot lose hope in humanity today. He lost a bet. This is not a young dude. His mother must be like at least 70 now, 80. Because I'm pretty sure he's not a mother, so... <laughs> oh, we got a video. Ah, uh, just riding home together on a subway. Look at that, just leaking a bit of beer. That's gonna be a treat later. If you get thirsty, you can just suck out your jacket. Mmm, yes indeed. When you go home with Bay from a nice night out. Haha, <laughs> slay girl. Yes. Well, laddies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you enjoyed this amazing, atrocious mess as I enjoyed having you here today. You beautiful being, you brighten up my day. And I do hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah. Yeah!